derivatives and tangent spaces of manifolds with boundary. So let's take a two-dimensional manifold because that's easy to draw and to think of with a boundary. So here's a wall. So then for points that are not on the boundary, everything works just as always, of course. So here would be a two-dimensional tangent space, a tangent plane at this point. So what about points that are on the boundary? That's the only thing where things might be different. And I'll give you some multiple choice options. So first one, nothing changes in the sense that, well, just think of this patch somehow filled in and forget about the hole and or yeah, now you should say for however you fill it in, but um, it's still a tangent plane. Okay, or do you think it sounds dodgy? Here we have a parametrization from R2 and we get our R2 plane as a tangent plane. So then also here we should somehow restrict that and say we also only get a um, H2 upper half plane here as a tangent space because this is where we came from. Or do you think, wait, wait, half planes, half planes, this, uh, I don't like half planes and this doesn't make sense. What is this? Uh, tangent spaces are about the directions, directions don't just stop. We should, but uh, we should somehow restrict the dimensions of the space. So why not, for example, say, um, we only consider points on the boundary and forget about the rest of the manifolds because if we have a boundary point, we care about the boundary and let's say, well, here, we take the subspace of, uh, of the manifold and consider only a smaller dimension. So here, let's say this, uh, this line is a tangent line. So boundary points have tangent lines. Or do you say, ah, uh, none of this sounds right and we can't get a meaningful definition. Um, tangent spaces are just not defined for boundary points. Um, definition meaningful, not possible. We can't make a consistent choice because there's so many things out. Oh, yes, so please make your pick or choose another thing if you can argue for it before you make an argument what we should define it like. So, for that, let's go back to the simple case we have seen way back in the day how to define uh, derivatives, namely functions from R to R. How you define a derivative in a point is you take the limit of the slopes of the seconds through points closer and closer from the left and from the right, right? And then if it's in the limit, the slopes are the same, both from the, from the right and from the left. We say the function is differentiable in this point and the slope of the limit is the derivative and the best linear approximation, which is this linear line of this, well, limit second, is the tangent space in this, um, in this case. So now what if more functions just stop somewhere? So you can think of this as a one dimensional manifold with boundary embedded in R2. Well, very natural. I just only consider the limits from the left. So there is nothing that comes from the right. Or approximation as a linear function up to this point. Oh, I still get this whole line, although there is nothing behind the point as a function, but um, I would still get this as an approximation. This is a, this is the direction where the function goes at this point. So that's a way of how I could say I just only consider if I can only come from the left, I only consider the left. Full stop. But I get the I get this whole thing. I just don't have to check if it's the same from the right because there isn't anything. Or you could say no. I want to 
patch in my hole. So I want to extend my function in a differentiable manner. So now, of course, I have many ways of doing that. Oops, shouldn't go uh, back, of course, but up. And then for any of these functions, I look what, uh, um, what the derivative is and the tangent line. As long as I extend differentiably, well, by definition, the right limit is the same as the left limit. So it doesn't matter how I extend it. This will always just be the tangent. So I can think of extending my manifold, of somehow patching in the hole, and take, again, this as the tangent plane for um, my boundary point. Um, let's call it A. Okay. T A M is still A two-dimensional um, well, plane as a tangent space. Now, uh, for manifolds, I want to know that this is independent of the um, of the um, if I can that I can patch things together as parametrizations that all my whole machinery works, well that I only need to check that the chain rule works, that I can move from one um, from one chart to another. But yes, that obviously does. So everything's good.